What is up and welcome back and today we're going to be covering how you can do a custom setup for your button layout. This right here can be very beneficial to a lot of players especially maybe if you are left brain or right brain or maybe even left handed versus right handed. And it's all going to be preference at the end of the day but hopefully with this video it can help you out a whole lot maybe even give you a little bit of instant fixes for things that you're having trouble with. So with that said let's dive right in. Now the first thing I do want to talk about is going to be my setup. So you can see what I have and see the logic behind it and apply it to how you want to play. So I do have right here the A is going to be for jumping, the B for crouching, Y for changing weapon, X for reloading. Now for the bumpers I am going to have equipment on the right bumper and then grenades on the left bumper. For the Triggers, as usual, a lot of players do use the right trigger for shooting. I have that as well. And then for the left trigger, is going to be crouch. Now you might think, why do I have two crouch buttons? And I'm going to discuss that later on in the video. Now for my sticks, this is going to be my aimer looking around. It's going to be for moving left, right, forward, backwards. And when you press down on the aimer, it's going to be melee. You press down on the movement, it's going to be sprint. Now underneath, I also do have paddles. This is a programmable controller. I do have on the top left, paddle is going to be sprint. And then the bottom left is going to be zoom or scope. Scoping with the sniper right here. And now for my right paddles, I am going to have for the bottom right one, pinging enemy locations. And then for the top right one, is going to be changing grenades. Changing grenades and pinging. Now, the whole logic behind my setup is going to be, I do like having two crouch buttons because I can just jump and crouch better by going like this when I'm clawing. When I'm moving around, it's just automatic. I press both of these at the same time. And I do like when I do do a slide with my player, my character, how I can bunny hop. I know you've seen that. Sometimes it's difficult to hit a player while they're sliding and they're bunny hopping across. So that's how I do that, like this. And then I do have a B also right here, a crouch, because I feel it just works nicely how my brain thinks. When I'm moving left and right, then I can just crouch. Everything is lined up on my left hand. You see that? I'm just focused on moving my character left and right and crouching, strafing in different type ways. So that for me works how my brain thinks, the logic of it. And now to give you a little bit more insight, for example, if you are a left-handed player, maybe you're going to want to move the shooting button right here that's usually on the right trigger to the left side. Why? Because your left hand is more predominant. You use it for more things, for writing, for taking out the trash, washing dishes, when you're playing sports, use it for shooting or passing. So this hand might have a little faster reaction time than your right hand. And now it makes sense moving the shooting over to the left. That can work out very nicely for you because you might find yourself a little bit delayed. Maybe you don't notice it, but when you make that change, you might see a difference because you are left-handed. You can expand and even move everything on this side you can have the nade on this side so your mind's only thinking shoot shooting and then throwing nades all stacked on one side and that could be the same case if you are right-handed if you do have nades on this side the trigger for shooting on this side you can move these nades over here on the right bumper and that can help you out a whole lot now i am going to say that change did not work for me for me i do like having the trigger for shooting right here and the nades on this side because I find myself being too active if I put everything on one side it just overloads my mind. I can do it with maybe a month of practice I start getting used to it but I'll still have in real tense situations I might throw a nade by accident instead of shooting or vice versa because my mind is getting overloaded so I find myself playing a lot better when I have these two on separate sides then I can really think of what I'm trying to do so you see it's all going to be experimenting seeing what's going to work best for you what works best get in a game and try to figure it out 
who feels comfortable practice with bots in the games that don't matter going to quick play and see how one small little change how it feels right and i do recommend doing one change at a time unless your mind can take it there are some players i've talked to they make a whole bunch of changes and they're able to get it down in a month or so and if that's you then that's very excellent but if it's going to throw you off whole lot just throw off one change and get used to it and then add another one that's the easiest way to go about it now keeping it going for my triggers like i mentioned i do have a sprint when you press down but i also have sprint underneath why i like having that because i find that my hand gets tired my left hand when i'm constantly pressing sprint with my thumb then my movement becomes a little bit more sluggish not as clean or precise so by me having the sprint right here and the sprint button underneath i find that my hand shares the load sometimes i press it with the paddle and sometimes i press it with the thumb and that's the same case for the b button if i was strafing like this right and shooting and also jumping and going like this I know my hand will get tired because I've tried that before. But when I do do this change where I'm sharing the load, 50% right here for jumping and crouching and 50% right here for strafing, I just find that I hardly ever get tired when I'm playing and it makes sense I'm sharing the load. Now, also I do wanna talk about, for example, it might make sense for you to have the shooting on one side and the nades on the other side. Right, completely opposite and using the same fingers right if you're playing like this you have the pointer fingers or if you have you do use the middle fingers have it be the middle fingers that can help out some players i've seen these changes help players for me i do like playing like this i use the middle finger for the trigger and for the bumper the right bumper and then the pointer finger like this but like I said, for some players, it might be easier on their mind to just do this or just do this. So figure out what's going to make you more efficient. That's pretty much the goal of this video. Every information I'm talking about, see how you can apply it or make little changes, how it can help you out. Now, furthermore, I do have, for example, this top button is going to be for pinging enemy locations for Halo Infinite. I have that under here on my right paddle the bottom one and i just like that because i don't have to take my thumb off the movement you see and that could be the same thing for right here if you're constantly doing this the jump right you're taking your aimer your thumb off the aimer so it can be better for you to move that jump button underneath to one of the paddles just gonna make you more efficient so when you're jumping you can also be aiming at the enemy because if you take it off like that you're not looking at anything you're character your player just gonna be looking straight it's gonna go back to the neutral position and if the enemy is moving left you're going to want to jump and then move a little bit left or right so you can have precise aiming so you see when you are trying to have a custom layout make sure you're able to figure out what's going to make you most efficient you do have a weakness in your play style how you hold a controller move some buttons underneath so you can always have your thumbs on the stick. Also, we talked about moving buttons around. If you do have a hard time when you're playing, moving all the way up here for the Y for changing weapon, move it someplace else. If you move it up here, then that might be easier for you. But figure out where you're gonna move this button. Because if this moves over here, this has to go someplace else. So find out what's going to be the next best place for this button. In my case, this was the zoom for scoping in for my weapon for my sniper. So when I added the crouch right here, I just moved the scoping down here. And I like how that feels when I jump. I just go like this and I'm scoping. You see, scoping or jumping and crouching and scoping and then shooting like that. You see that? Very efficient for me to do. So there you have it. Hopefully this can help you out. Like I said, if you are left brain or right brain, maybe some button layouts make more sense to you. If you are left-handed versus right-handed, maybe 
your left hand would be better doing certain things and your right hand something else. When you are right handed, figure out what can make your gameplay a lot better because lots of setups or pre programmed button schemes I feel it do tailor a little bit more to the right handed players because there are more right handed people. And if you can make a little change that's just going to improve your gameplay, make that change. And again, there are a lot of pre programmed button layouts, bumper jumper, recon, also southpaw, and so on. Try some of those and see which one makes sense to your mind. And if you do have one that works very well, but there's minor changes that you don't like, then just move those buttons around where it can help you out big time. So that right here is going to be the video, and you can take this is just a basis, a general idea. You can expand on it a lot more. I didn't want to talk about other things I do use. I do use a shift button, and I just like that sometimes to use it. And that maybe that could be a different video, but right here you have a nice general overview that can really improve your gameplay and use it to your advantage. And that's going to be it for this video. If you did like what you saw, please sub and like. We'll be back next time with more. Until then, peace and much love.